Hello and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 139. And I'm your host, comedian Tracy Cranazzo, joined by my co-host, Noelle Winters Herzog. Hello. Hello, Noelle. Hello, What Tracy. a wonderful, beautiful day to be podcasting. We're here to talk about season eight, episode 14 of Teen Mom OG. It's like these seasons go on forever. <laughs> A.K.A. <laughs> The Amber Files. Yeah, seriously. That's all the whole thing was about. The one-sided Amber Files. I can't mm-hmm. wait to get into this. Now, before we get into this, I just want to let everyone know a lot of people right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and a lot of people are looking for more content. They're saying that we don't podcast enough, and they need more of us. Right. So I have three podcasts a week. You have two podcasts a week. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, something that a lot of people still don't know about. Can you believe this, Noel? No. They still don't know that we have a Patreon with over a hundred episodes of bonus content. You guys could join that Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Get over a hundred episodes. You get a free piece of merchandise. You get into our secret group where we are all the best of friends. You're going to be so jealous. It's the best group. It's the best. It's the most fun. Um, we have a, bonus podcast called BS Not Tea Mom Related where we talk about ourselves, we answer fan questions, we have so much fun and we can literally fill days and days of your life with more podcasts. So if you love us and you love yourself, <laughs> that's when you should join. I love Just letting you. you know. I love you. Let's get right into it. So we start off season eight, episode 14 with Kate and Ty. Right. Okay. So Amber wants them to come to court. Amber wants everyone to come to court. Um, I'm going to translate that for you. Okay. Production says everyone needs to be at court. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, is this real? This can't be authentic. There's so much not real about this episode that I can't even deal with it. Really? So I, there was a lot of voiceovers. A lot of voiceover. Yeah. So she fake calls Macy mm-hmm. and they're going to go. And right. Kate's like, man, I'm not sure what led up to Amber's arrest. It's like, hello? Hello? Kate's like, do you think that she got arrested because I have really bad hair extensions? Do you think she got arrested because I can't stop playing with this chunky cheese? What was that? I don't know. Do you think that she got arrested because I'm pretending that I can't go off my meds? Uh Uh-huh. That's why she got arrested. Yes. Cool. Now we go to Macy. Macy is literally sucking her fingers in the car, which in the middle of a national pandemic is very triggering. Mm -hmm. And everyone's going to go pick up Amber in a minivan. Right. Okay. Okay, great. So now Tyler's home taking care of the kids. So he is just as usual. He's home and his boyfriend is over helping him. (laughs) His boyfriend, Jordan with Uno Tutho. I don't know. Is it one tooth or is it just a very space teethy i don't know that was okay. a lot what do you mean you don't know no well he's missing his front tooth all the way okay so i didn't know here's the thing i didn't know if he was missing his front tooth or if they were misplaced as in they were in the wrong spots in his mouth and there was a large gap yes the the gap was the size of his front tooth and it was not there and the mistake that god made was forgetting to put it there <laughs> that's what happened so it is misplaced it's okay this place it's it's in someone's pocket uh-huh it's in his pocket probably maybe mm-hmm. so now not only does this guy have a missing tooth right mm-hmm. and he's been missing this tooth for many seasons yes. okay so not anyone has offered to help him with this tooth uh-uh. he had someone sleep with him right mm-hmm. he blew a load in her mm-hmm. and he made a baby with her and he was and she let him she let him she let him well i mean question mark question mark if she let him but i think she let him <laughs> so um so as they're having this conversation so tyler and jordan are having this conversation yes. and tyler's back is turned to the camera right and tyler says i'm using finger quotes okay you know, Kate surprised me with a commitment ceremony <laughs> in Maui. Mm-hmm. And Jordan's like, oh, it's so nice out today. Right. Mm-hmm. They were probably like, Tyler, we told you to talk about how excited you were about the commitment ceremony. And he's probably like, uh, no, that's not true, though. So I'm no, not going to talk so about I'm that. I'm not going to say that. Right. Right. And they're like, OK, cool. We're just not going to pay you for this episode. And, and he's like, like OK, gonna cool. Hold Veda. 
let's just do voiceovers then. It was all voiceovers. And I'm like, do these people think that I don't know this is a voiceover? <laughs> so now they're talking about how Kate's so much better. Right. And then his backs to the camera one more time and he goes, yeah, Kate's really good. She's meeting with her psychiatrist today to get off her meds. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, right. Jordan's like, you want to hear me whistle? <laughs> I don't even have to purse my lips. <laughs> nope. Here we go. So Kate is feeling a lot better and she's acting a lot better. She is acting way better. And I have to tell you, she looks better. Yeah, for sure. But she's telling the psychiatrist and she's like, I feel so much better. What do you think about going off my meds? And the psychiatrist is appalled at her. Right. She's like, well, first of all, we don't usually get people like you an intake on the kind of meds that you're on. Like they put her on like farm animal tranquilizers But that's what I mean. What the hell did that mean? And she's like, well, you know do you think that I could maybe like wean off of anything? And she's like, well, you're going to get a lot of brain zaps. Right. It's going to feel like you're getting electric shocks. And I'm like, that's terrifying. Okay. But that is true. And I know that's true of Celexa. I thought that was true for Xanax. Mm, I don't know that for sure. Okay. I've never heard of that, that but I do know. I do know it's true for Zoloft. Yes. I think it's just for SSRIs though. So, She's like, well, maybe we could wean you in a few years. Yeah. Like, basically, like, girl, you are not ready at all. Right. But, like, I don't feel like that's fair. Well, the thing is, why does she want to get off her medication? Like, what's the harm it's doing? She's probably on so much medication. Yeah. That she just doesn't want to be on that much medication anymore. And I understand that. That I can understand. If you're on so much medication or the craziest medication that your doctor is like, yeah, I don't agree with this. Right. Then why isn't, I don't know. I, to her, I feel like, um, you always have to remember to be your own advocate. I tell you this all the time. Yes, you do. Always speak up. You hire a Mm -hmm. doctor to work for you at the end Mm -hmm. of the day. And you could, I think that she should get a second opinion. I don't like this. No, you're right. Because the doctor was like, not even like willing to compromise or try anything. She was just like, no, not happening. She's like, and I would only do that if you were in therapy. And I'm not talking about a year in therapy. I'm talking about years and years. Yeah. And you wonder why this girl thinks that she's out of her mind. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yes. I didn't Uh like this. I felt like this was very like I almost feel like reaching out to Kate and being like, hey, listen, your bangs got to go. These extensions are bad. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm telling you the truth. Mm-hmm. You know what but I was like, thinking you can, uh, that she, I wonder if she had to check in her bang on the plane. I still laugh about <laughs> she that. She did. I still <laughs> laugh about that. Yeah, but it was a very small plane uh, when she went to Indiana. So uh-huh. she had oh, she had a lot of hard time uh, finding some space <laughs> in the overhead. <laughs> it wasn't great. Like She should have checked it. She should right, honestly. So now, she should have just checked. I don't care. It was so what? So they lose it. <laughs> <laughs> they lost my bang. Uh-huh, they lost and my like, bang. She gets off the plane and they're like, "Kate, why is the runway on your forehead?" And she's like, "No, no, no, no. That's just my forehead. They lost my bang. This is what it looks like, like naturally." <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Oh my god! Actually, lay down. We need another runway." Uh-huh. Now, this is coming from someone that myself has a very large five head. So I don't so? feel bad saying that. A five head? <laughs> I do. I've never heard that five before. Head. I've never heard really? that before. It's yeah. more than four. It's five. <gasps> oh, I, maybe I have a five head. I don't know. <laughs> I think we both have five heads. It's That's five. interesting. I don't know. I don't think five heads bother me so much. No. So now Nick um, is there at the house and mm-hmm. Veda's teach not Veda, uh, Nova's teaching a class she's she a teacher is very serious she's very serious i like her i like the way she plays she's in character mm-hmm. she's doing some method acting yes nick is now 12 years old okay honestly nick has on a sweatshirt that says ink addict and i'm like eight-year-olds can't get tattoos nick well he's it's probably his mom's sweatshirt <laughs> probably so. <laughs> probably so she now she starts talking as as nova's giving them the lesson uh-huh she's talking with her her infant brother uh-huh and her kids about how the zoloft didn't work and how 
she had done the genetic testing that tells you which um, psych meds work for you. And right. they knew the Zoloft didn't work. And it also came up that the Zoloft wasn't working out for her. Right. So now Tyler starts doing impressions of her on as the Zoloft. As soon as he starts doing these impressions, I'm thinking Jim Carrey, just like Tracy said. I want him to stop. Yeah. No, He's like, if I would have met you on the Zoloft, I would have. And she's like, what? You would not have liked me? Right. He's he like, no, I was like, so ya. crazy when you. Yeah, I would have been like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what you would have said. Get away from me, Tyler. Mm-hmm. Tyler, go go do some of your own Zoloft. Right. Yeah. No, he's just he's annoying. You're right, though. Like the way he acts like that goofiness. It's so inauthentic. It's so gross. It's it's so um forced. Yeah, and it's, it's so forced. annoying. Yes, it's forced. It's forced and it's like not appropriate for the situation. Mm-hmm. I agree. How does she have a relationship with him? And and the sad part is I feel like she's so desperate for him and I don't know why. I wish she could see what we saw. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because it's like your man's a joke. Like, what are you doing? Whatever. He's going to find a nice guy one day. I guess. Whatever. Oh, my God. Speaking of mm-hmm. Tyler, mm-hmm. the pH of your vagina is so important. I've been talking to you. What? No good? Sorry. I just wasn't expecting that at all. That was good. (laughs) I've been talking to you about this and you were actually super surprised that an acidic vagina can harbor bacteria and cause mild to severe infections. I really was. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why V Fresh's iconic duo, V Cleanse and V Tract gives you the natural solutions for optimal vaginal support. Mm. Noelle, your vagina needs support. My vagina needs support. Yes. We can't just do this on our own. Mm-hmm. We just can't. Mm-hmm. So to fully experience VFresh, their V-Ready Care Kit is the perfect bundle for amazing savings at an amazing price. It features V-Cleanse and V-Tract. It eliminates odor and discharge getting fast acting urinary tract support with our V-Ready Bundle. So you can visit V Fresh, that's V E E Fresh dot com, and enter code Trash Talk twenty twenty to save twenty percent on our bundle and spend only fifty four ninety nine. So that's V Fresh dot com, V E E Fresh dot com, and enter code Trash Talk twenty twenty to save twenty percent on the bundle. It really is so important. I mean. Every single conversation that I have with a woman, like we're always talking about these things that no one else really talks about. That's very true. You get UTIs. Mm-hmm. I do. I, I get, get yeast UTIs. infections. Yep. You know, when you're when you're taking antibiotics, you're getting yeast infections. Like it's just so hard. Mm-hmm. So guys, check out V Fresh, V E E Fresh dot com. Oh man. All right. Speaking of speaking of vaginas, let's talk about Macy. All right. Speaking of the vagina. <laughs> Mackenzie wants Bentley to go golfing with them. So she texts Macy and Macy's like, okay. Yeah. Macy's cool. like, all right, great. Cool. <clears throat> right. So now we show, they show Ryan's parents' house. Do you think that they painted Ryan's parents' house? Why is it so black? It was so black, but it was like a fresh coat of black paint. I didn't hate it. No, no, no. I have to tell you, I liked it. I wasn't expecting it for them though. It did look brand new. It looked brand new. Yeah. Good for you guys. Yeah. Larry's really been on that ladder. <laughs> and while Larry's been painting the house, uh-huh. Ryan's been chomping at that bit. <sighs> this guy. That's what Mackenzie said about Ryan wanting uh-huh. to go golfing. Yeah. Yeah. It looked great. He just wanted to dress up for golfing. That's what it was. I know. Mm-hmm. So Mackenzie's hair looks really good, though. OK. Th- I actually wrote this in my notes. I loved her hair. I loved it. It was very long. It was very toned. The color is so muted. I love that type of blonde. Very good blending. I yes. loved it. So now we go back. Taylor's driving with both of the kids. Mm-hmm. And Jade and what's the other one? Maverick? Jade and Maverick. Yep. And Jade's telling a pretty bad joke. It was very dad-like. Very dad joke. I think uh, Tyler would have really appreciated that one. Yeah. And then he would have been like, oh, that's so funny. You know, like a moron. Exactly. So Mm -hmm. now uh, Bentley's going to go play with them. 
play golf. Yeah. And Jen and Larry bought him a new outfit, I guess, at the golf pro shop. Yeah, who cares? And Ryan's in the golf cart with mm-hmm. Mackenzie, and she's he's like, I told you my parents were going to buy him new stuff. It's like, what? It, why is he acting like a jealous brother? Because that's his brother. I couldn't believe he's it. Always he's always like, I knew they would get him new stuff. And it's like, that's your kid. Why wouldn't you get him new stuff, by the way? I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because Ryan is high, high, high. Yes. True that. But honestly, though, this season is the most I've ever seen Ryan speak ever. <laughs> I know. So, well, because he's uh phober. Right. That's true. <laughs> they were like, Ryan. <laughs> Please, Ryan. Right. I get that you're never going to be sober, but like, can you talk more so people think you might be sober? Yeah. Maybe just like, like mm. open your eyes to medium. Not too can much, not the- too little. <laughs> 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 just open a medium size. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, yeah. It's like, can you chomp at the bit a little bit? Can you do something? Yeah, really? So Ryan's, uh, Mackenzie is pregnant, pregnant, pregnant too. Mm-hmm. That is also. I know. I didn't even realize she was pregnant at first until like they were in the golf carts, and I was like, "Oh wow, she's super pregnant." She's super pregnant. Also, she's blinking so hard. Really, I didn't notice. No, not that. not not she. He. I'm sorry. He's blinking so oh, hard. Ah, okay. He's blinking hard and long. Oh, interesting. Hmm. He's blinking like you ever get something in your eye and you're yes. trying to like figure out what's happening. Yes. That's how he's blinking. Oh, okay. I know. Do you think his mascara got in his eye? Maybe. Maybe he has. Maybe the Sandman came for a visit. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Also, why was Ryan and Mackenzie on one team, and his parents were on the other team with Bentley? Why wasn't he with Bentley and Mackenzie in their golf? Because I feel like he just doesn't really like Bentley all that much. (laughs) He was so mean to bentley yeah he was i hated everything he, about it he was mean to bentley this is what it reminded me of mm-hmm. it reminded me of co-workers playing golf at like a business outing okay and ryan hates bentley because that's his like nemesis in right. the sales department yes you're like so that's right. his sales competition and bentley's been taking all of his accounts and it's like Bentley was like angry because I guess Ryan, you know, was mad. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm chipping. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm like, right. I yeah. I mean, listen, means. to be right. honest with you, Bentley is probably an expert at sports. Uh huh. And I get that he's competitive, but like you weren't even like very nice to your son. Like, how is that fun? But then why are they like, I guess Bentley like made, uh, did it like a stroke and missed and they laughed at him. They were mean. Yeah, like I couldn't believe it. And and Ryan's like, well, that one's not going to work. And then Mackenzie like busted out laughing. It's like you're making, you're literally making fun of your child. You're making fun. I, I would have, you know what I would really would have liked to see in this? What? I would have liked to see Bentley take his golf clubs, <laughs> slowly go over to Ryan and then beat the fuck out of beat him. Beat him in the face. I know. And the in thing the is, face. the funniest part is Jen turns around. She's like, Ryan Christopher. And it's like, oh my God. A mother yeah, is reprimanding her son for making fun of her other son. Yeah. They're yeah. being bad siblings. Mm-hmm. I would have loved to see Bentley crack Ryan with a golf club. Oh Come my on. God. That would have been the best. That would have been the best. And he just got, I would have sent, too. I know I would have sent Bentley a teen mom trash talk sticker. Yes, for sure. And a magnet. <laughs> Why not? I would have sent him a 90 day fiance magnet. <laughs> No, I would have sent him a Teen Mom Trash Talk pop socket. Ooh, everyone could use a pop socket. I would have sent him a Teen Mom Trash Talk button. Ooh, Tracy, you're going there, aren't you? I would have sent him an Only in New York sticker. Would you have sent him maybe like an apple pie? All right, relax. (laughs) This is not for sale. I don't know. I'm just saying you made really good apple pie. I did make apple pie. We'll talk mm-hmm. about that on BS, not team mom related. Yeah. If you don't That's know our other you podcast. Know. Mm-hmm. That's our other podcast. Mm-hmm. So Ryan and Mackenzie go afterwards to talk about uh, the victory, I guess. They go talk victory over fajitas. <laughs> they get some fajitas. Yum. I love fajitas. Okay. To be honest with you, when I was watching this scene, I was like, ah, what a, what a simpler time. Right. Like right. You could just go get a fajita. It's like, what's that like to go sit in a place with other people and not be scared? Right. Well, I mean, I don't really know what that feels like, but (laughs) (laughs) you can get a quesadilla, Mm, quesadilla, fajita, maybe a burrito. Oh, wow. 
Mm-hmm. So Ryan's like, Ryan and Mackenzie were like, oh, that was really fun. How was that fun? I, or who was that fun? It was fun for them for making fun of the kid. Yeah. They were like, mm-hmm. that was fun. I love playing with people I could beat. Yeah, that was, I don't know. I didn't, they had such a shit attitude. I know. And he's like, yeah, he's like, because the only other time we get to see him is his ball games. <laughs> like, that's quality time. I wish we could take him by ourselves. Um, Ryan, mm-hmm. when you open your eyes to medium, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I will trust you to drive a car. Right. With Bentley in it. And until then, you're right now you're an extra small. But that's what I... <laughs> But how are you supposed to trust these two morons with Bentley? Right. Alone without. Because honestly, Jed and, Jed and Larry are his parents. Mackenzie, where's your other kid? Mackenzie, where's your other kid? Mackenzie, um, you got married to a guy that couldn't keep his eyeballs open and he made out with his mom at your wedding. <laughs> you know? Mackenzie. Yeah. He had his eyes closed while mm-hmm. he was driving you to your wedding. Mm hmm. And you're like, I don't know why we're not allowed to take him by ourselves. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why we're being frowned upon. It's like, gee, asshole. Take responsibility, guys. Yeah. Okay, so now... Oh, and also we find out that they they live with Jen and Larry. I mean, I think we yeah. knew that. I feel like confirmed. I was surprised by that. I don't know why. Because when Ryan went away, I don't think they could pay his house anymore. Right, because they had like that lake house. And I think that yeah. Mackenzie like, moved out when he went away. Yes. So anyway, so now Macy's coming home. Right. And she says something a little bit scary. What? As she opens the front gate, Mm -hmm. she goes, oh, please don't be a snake and please don't bite me. What? Uh, Oh, that's terrifying. Well, I think there was like a snake. I know. I was like, ooh, uh uh-uh. No, thank you. I mean, I love a snake, but not a bitey snake. No, I don't feel good about that. My mother's mother-in-law lives in Oklahoma and she used to get bit a lot. Like on what do like you her, mean? Like her front porch. She had like, I don't remember. It was like a rattlesnake or something. She got bit. She got bit by like a copperhead. She got bit like a lot living there. Okay. I f- this is your uh, stepfather's mother? Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like this is a her problem at this point. Okay. Who so that's bit a lot by snakes? That's what my mother said. My mother's like, I swear they were attracted to her. I've never seen anything like that. It freaked me out. Okay. But also like how, where is it biting you? Uh, I guess her ankles. I don't know where pants you know what I'm saying though no I know like I don't feel I couldn't live in a place where I would be afraid of a snake biting me and hurting me right but if I got bit like all the time by snakes right I'd wear boots yeah no I agree maybe I would wear like those like hunter boots or something like shin guards yeah I don't know (laughs) Uh I'm just saying if it's happening so much that it's like a thing that we talk about yes yes I agree just saying okay cool so they're sitting down, Macy and Taylor, and they're talking about Amber. Right. And <laughs> they're basically like, oh, well, we just have to be there. And Taylor's like, even if you don't agree with what happened, she's like, your okay. sister. Right. I, I liked what Taylor said because Taylor was kind of, um, I, I wish he would have looked dead into the camera when he said that. Right. Like I, he was at least being like a little more realistic. Everybody else is talking like this is no big deal. Right. And then Taylor's like, so do we know what happened to lead to Amber's arrest? And she's like, no, no one knows. Right. I'm sure that's what happened. Guess what? We know Mm -hmm. because we heard all the video. We heard all of the the audio. Right. And um, Amber is this disgusting animal. And we know Amber. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how we know. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andrew told the truth. Yes. And this isn't the first time she's done this. And this is what she does. All right. Well, let's move on to Cheyenne now. Okay. So Matt is crashing at her place still. Okay. You called this too, that this is what I was going to happen. You. you did. Yep. But he's mm-hmm. going to go look at an apartment. Notice we see almost none of Matt in this I episode. I know. We see like hardly anything of him. Mm-hmm. Because he's on his way out right now. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, Cheyenne and Corey are talking, right? And there's a giant fuzzy spider on the TV. But Why? I guess it was like paused on like a nature show. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. I would have been screaming too. And Ryder's like screaming, hello, hello. Can anyone tell me what's happening? Mm-hmm. And they're like, Ryder, we're talking about you. Right. And what what a terrible child you are. Just uh-huh. give us one second. <laughs> and she's like, hello, hello, mm-hmm. hello. Mm-hmm. Mommy, like, I, sure, I'm the worst. But like also, what is why Why do I have to look, like a, look at a monster in the right. face while you do this? right. 
And they're like, okay, that's a spider. And she goes, oh, shit. (laughs) I wasn't expecting it. I know, but it was, I liked it. I like when kids curse when they use it correctly. Yes, because it wasn't like she was like, you know, was like eating a hamburger and said, oh, shit, you know? Right. Like Mm -hmm. she saw a spider. Oh, shit. Good reaction. Yeah. Good reaction. My reaction. So Corey said that she has no rules. Um, Corey was like a little bit of the worst this episode. <laughs> he was, but also I'm going to tell you what, um, okay, well, we're going to continue, but I'm going to tell you what kind of swayed me to his side a little bit. Okay. So they're having a family barbecue at the mom's house. This is right. where everyone has these parties. Mm-hmm. And so now we go to Corey and Taylor and they're putting Ryder to sleep or whatever. Taylor yes. got a bad lip job in this episode. I think honestly, though, I have to tell you, I feel like she's so pretty. <laughs> She is, but she got a bad lip job. Mm-hmm. So Corey's talking about uh, how bad Ryder is with Cheyenne. Okay, here's what bothered me. And when he said that she, he has to make sure she brushes her teeth every night. Before a bet. Maybe she, maybe she doesn't want to because um, Cheyenne doesn't make her. But that's right. But isn't that just like a common thing? Like, oh brush your teeth and go to sleep like you don't instill that in your kid i don't get that maybe maybe she doesn't i don't know um so he said and this is where he got me okay he was like i looked at the footage from when they took the trip to wine country yes and how bad Ryder was with them and this is why i'm upset because she shouldn't be acting like that listen i agree but part of me also feels like she's a toddler no, I get that. I do get mm-hmm. that. But I don't I don't know because I don't have a kid. So I don't really know like the day to day struggles. Listen, as someone who grew up in my dad's house and then to my mom's house back and forth, I do admit I acted differently because there were less rules in my mother's house. There was different rules in my mother's house than there were in my father's house. So, yes, I was definitely more scared of my dad, too. So like sure. I, could, I could see where he's coming from with this, but I just feel like, I don't know, it was a little like almost like I'm better than you, kind of. No, no, it was. And she was right, though, because he approached it wrong. So now yes. we go to the pool party. Mm-hmm. Cheyenne has on a skin tight onesie. But how does she shorts. look so good in it? She did, but I think it was a lot of, um, as we were just talking about, vagina. It was a lot of vagina. It was a meaty vagina. <laughs> Very meaty, uh-huh. very prominent. It was uh-huh. very prominent. <laughs> very prominent <laughs> vagina. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I like that because she, usually she dresses her and Ryder alike, but she this time she actually dressed Matt and Corey alike. Yes. So that was nice. In the stripes. <laughs> yes, they both had stripes. So she's leaving with Ryder. They're, they're going outside, I guess, or whatever. And he's like, can I talk to you? He's like, I need you to read to her at bedtime. Mm-hmm. I need a nine o'clock bedtime. And it's she said she's like, this is really rude. But this is where he lost me, because I feel like you're just giving her a list of rules. He said that her focus shifted and she's like, well, now you sound crazy because it's always been about Ryder. And I I agree with her. So do I. So do I. Like, we don't really know what goes on behind closed doors, obviously, but she seems like a good mom. She seems fine. Yeah, she seems fine. Yeah. I did think that um, what he said to her was too harsh and she was right. She's like, you don't know what I'm doing at bedtime. So why don't you just say like, what time has she been able to go down? What time Mm -hmm. has she been? Yeah. Are you reading instead of being like, what's her favorite book? What are you guys reading at your house? Because these are the books that I have here. Yeah. Like he did not approach it. He approached it very rudely. And then to say like, your focus has shifted. Like, wow. He came at her, bro. Yeah, he did come at her, bro. Like I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all. He could have done better because they co-parent really well. Yeah, no, but whatever. You know what the thing is, though? They're friends, so I feel like this will blow over. If that would have happened with another one of these co-parenting things, that would have been like a big setback. That's actually really true, yeah. It's kind of like, shut up, Corey. You're a jerk. Yeah, it's like, okay, Corey, cool. When are you going to tell her that Taylor's pregnant? Yeah, how about that? When are you mm-hmm. going to tell me? When are you going to What are you going to tell yourself? At least his hair was braided. Thank goodness I, know, I didn't seriously. have to look at that mop. Uh, when are you going to stop cheating on your pregnant girlfriend with more than three women that I know about personally? What? Yeah, no, that's that's a true story. What? I remember. I yeah, I remember the story. Mm-hmm. There's more than that, even. Oh, what? I believe it. I be- I don't know mm, what. 
I can't when are you going to stop sleeping with people I know, Corey? Mm-hmm. My mom's calling me. I don't hear New York know. City. Mm-hmm. Corey, oh, mm-hmm. New York City's not that big, Corey. Mm-mm. Stop sleeping mm-hmm. with people in New York City stop that being I know. Mm-hmm. That I know while your girlfriend's pregnant. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's just have a moment of silence for Corey and his cheating. And we're back. Let's talk All about right. Mackenzie. All right. I'm here for it. <laughs> Mackenzie is living separate from Josh, and it's the kid's first day of school. Uh, this and poor girl, she looks like she is caught in a nightmare right now. Okay, again, I think she's very relatable. I think she's very down to earth now. Yeah, so do I. I feel like she's back. She's back. Totally agree. I feel so bad for her. Yeah, I mean, listen, she separated from her husband. She's going through heartbreak. She has three kids. She's got mm-hmm. a business. Her mom's dying. Like, come on. Yeah. It's too much. But I got to tell you, she's starting a leggings line, and I loved those cheetah leggings she had on. I loved them, Tracy. I know you love them. Do you know why I know you love them? Why? Because you were a cheetah one year for Halloween. (gasps) I was. And your entire costume was that print. Yes, I love it. I love those leggings. I never see leggings like that, that material. Yeah, I liked it. I, mm-hmm. I wonder what's happening with her leggings line there. So she's like, I like her attitude, though, because they're like, oh, where's Josh staying? She's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't care. Right. And she was just like, he's staying all over the place. What do you want me to tell you? Like, she's being not like mean. Like, she could be like, I don't she's know. She's not it's being obsessive about house. him. No, not at all. Sure. Mm-hmm. So now it's Gannon's eat birthday and Josh comes. Right. And Noel. Yes. There is the tiniest little fuzzy puppy. <gasps> okay, the little black and white dog. What was this? What? It looked like a Pomeranian, but I don't know if they come in that color. But I've never seen a dog like that small. Now, was it naturally that small or is it a puppy? I think it's a puppy, but it's also a small dog. Oh, my God. It was so cute. Also, mm-hmm. those looked like good takeout tacos. Okay, uh, all of the food did not look bad at all. It didn't look like a scary party either because there was only like five people there. I liked it. Yeah. So Josh is like, okay, I'm leaving. And she's like, okay, it's your son's birthday though. And he's like, yeah, I'm leaving. She's like, okay, well then leave. And he does, he leaves. But she wasn't even nasty about it. Nope. And him and his belt buckle, they left. Tracy, the belt buckle. I could not focus on anything else. She, he was like, I got to go. I got to ride a bull. And she's like, all right, then you go get another concussion. Okay, but this is what I didn't like. So now mm-hmm. we're back in the house, and right. she's talking about him leaving in front of the kids. Yeah, I know. And Gannon's like, know. what happened? What are we talking about? Right. Don't do so that. So now she's talking to her, um, how she has no communication with Josh, and she's talking to her sister about it. Yes. Her sister... Mm-hmm. has the craziest rash on her neck. Okay, I couldn't figure out what that was. I don't know, but I hope it wasn't contagious. Because yeah, it was not good. It was not That kid was so cute. So cute. Mm-hmm. So she tells Josh all the time that he, she says, you're not my person. Yeah, she starts talking about me how... Feel terrible. I know, how he makes her not like herself, how mm. she feels ugly, she feels terrible, she feels like awful because of him. And she said that she's realized that for the last nine years, she forced this relationship and she hates that she married him. She said as she was walking down the aisle in her wedding, she knew that he didn't love her. Mm -hmm. That made me so sad. So now what made me even sadder was the actual wedding flashback because that dress was a sin to God. That dress was heinous, Tracy. She looked like a doe shot. She looked like a buckshot and doe shot together in one. (laughs) So she said she wants a divorce. She's totally over it. Yeah, she seemed like, okay, I want a divorce. The end. Well, we'll see what happens. I know I know that they're still together, but um, I think that she was telling the truth, to be honest with you. Well, that's the thing. I thought they were still together. That's what I had thought. But now this makes me feel like they're not. I'm very confused. No, I think they are. But I think that these are her real feelings. Okay. Let's talk about Amber. Ugh. Ugh so all the girls pick her up in her minivan, right? Mm-hmm. And she's like, ooh, girls day out. And it's like, no. Court no. for violent felony. Yeah, because you're a terrible person. You lost another one of your kids, Amber. Mm-hmm. Not girls day out. Right. She's like, I have been so upset that like I didn't sleep for five days. I had five days of numbness and confusion. 
Okay. How, what do you, can you translate that for me? I don't know. You had five days of taking, you know, 25 pills a day. That was your numbness. Okay, cool. Thank yeah. you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Um, and then <laughs> yeah. one of them goes to her. You got this girl. But what, um, but I feel like that was so basic. Like that's just something that you say. It's like fluff. Well, she, I know. She said that he's, Andrew's been acting so weird and the lawyers even see that it's obvious what's happening here that oh. he's using her but is that what she's alluding to because that's what i wanted to know like what the yes. hell did she mean by that yes so he has her after looking at the bank accounts so meaning that he's using all her money he has her car now he has her house right okay he didn't knife you right so why would he be homeless with his child right he should be homeless and you should have the kid after going after them with a machete you knifed him. Yes. Saying. Yes. Okay. Huh. So she's like, I'm so scared about what's going to happen. Nah. Shut so up, Amber. So Leah called her to give her support because Leah's so worried. Right. I'm sure that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. But why is Leah your mom? First of all, I want better question. Why are Amber's ears split again? Um, better question. Where donde esta? Amber's side back teeth. teeth after yes. She, yeah. Yes. She so she screamed. They all screamed in the car to let out all of the anger that she has. I mean, mm-hmm. I think that Amber let the anger out when she knived Andrew with a machete. <laughs> I love that you keep saying she knived him. <laughs> <laughs> but so when she screamed, I noticed that donde esta teeth. They were gone. Yeah. yeah. Yo no sé. Yeah, no, gone. She said that she hasn't seen James as much as she wants. So now, according to Andrew and what he had told uh, some people and, you know, because he, he was speaking out a little bit about yeah. this at one point. She was sleeping through her uh, her things with James. She was going through withdrawals. She was, quote unquote, sick, vomiting, had a headache, and she wasn't seeing him. But I mean, listen, you can look at her in this episode and see she is like fucked up. She is high as a cow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. So she doesn't know. Oh, this one I like. Mm. She doesn't know how she's going to handle it if the judge doesn't rule in her favor. She's going to handle it great because she doesn't even want the kid to begin with. Also, is that a threat? Right. Does that mean you're going to knife gonna- Andrew again? <laughs> are you- what are you going to knife the judge? Right. Mm-hmm. You're going to machete him? <laughs> Uh huh. Jeez. So they all pray together because whatever. Yeah. And they gave her visitation with James like she always had. Yes. And they gave her a gag order to stop talking about the custody case. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened that day in court. That's actually what happened. The translation is the judge was like, yeah, you've had visitation. Really? So you can still have visitation. Yeah. But you just don't show up to your visitation. Oh. Oh, shut up. So he's like, okay, so this is what I'm going to rule you. I'm going to rule you to stop fucking talking about it. That's all I'm going to rule you. Wow. Everything's the same. Now you just can't talk about it. Right. Okay. So now um, they get back in the car and you notice that she is dressed like she's a server at Houston. Oh, I saw. I saw oh, Houston. She's got Yum. on her black button down. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. <laughs> so Macy, that little bitch, is like, oh, she goes... Uh, Amber says, how could he even no emotion? We're talking about his son. He has no emotion. And Macy goes, "Ugh, narcissist. Andrew's a narcissist. Right. Fuck you, Macy. Yeah. That was like, I, that's when that? I was like, okay, Macy, you're a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause now you're feeding into the lies that yep. you know are true. Come yep. on. So she's so happy that she could see James She's now fake sure. happy uh-huh sure and now Gary and Christina were so happy about how it turned out and Gary said that Am- Andrew is manipulative I mean listen I will tell you from the beginning I've always thought there was something off about Andrew and you know I think that he was full of baloney a little bit bull pippy if you will sure but- but like, and obviously there's something wrong with you. If you want to be with Amber, if you want to get someone like Amber pregnant, like there's something a little wrong with you, but sure. like, I don't take him as manipulative. No. So now she's, she's more complaining dumb. That she, right. Yeah. Naive. How about naive? Yeah. Super naive. Yes. Okay. So now she, Amber's complaining that she gives to men too much and then she gets hurt. You give um, men to everything. You don't give to your children. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you've given you gave Matt everything, really. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, you get hurt. I mean, who got hurt? Who got knifed? Right. You didn't get hurt. They <laughs> got hurt. I'm just saying. Knifed. I mean, maybe she got hurt from Matt, but like. That's the thing. I listen. I, don't know. I understand that Matt did a number on her and Matt was like insane, but she was just as insane as he was. Of course. Yeah. So now she is. Uh, so they're, they're, Kate's like, is there going to be another court date? And now she's fake crying. But she and doesn't she even have a tear. Not a tear. No, no. CGI. Yes. No tears. <laughs> and she says something that is so hilarious. She said that she went from being a full time mom to an every other day mom. Tracy, now that is not. I couldn't. It's not the correct it. timeline. Right. Okay, so can we go through the real timeline? I'm ready. Okay. She went from being a full time mom mm-hmm. to getting her daughter taken away from her forever. Mm-hmm. Having another baby. Mm-hmm possibly abusing him Mm -hmm. and then still getting visitation with both of them yeah that sounds uh exactly right okay cool Mm -hmm. so now um she's having like this pity party for herself she's like i just don't want people to think that i'm a monster you are a monster you're a fucking monster you are your junkie monster that's how i feel about her Ooh, i like it yeah like and i and i hate to even like say that and throw words like that around but that is what she is she is a bad person and i am tired of mtv defending her like this Okay, so now let me ask you a question. So yeah. Kate suffers from mental illness, yes? Yes. Why isn't she terrible, mean, abusive, and violent? Well, right. So that's the thing. I get that these women suffer from mental mental illness. I do. You do. That's a thing, you know? But you can't use that as a crutch for just being a bad person. Right. She's just shitty. So now she's still in legal trouble. Just remember, she's still in legal trouble. Right, she's not out right. of the water. This was just a custody case. Right. So now Larry calls Andrew mm-hmm. and they set up a time to go talk to Andrew. Andrew won't let the cameras in. There's audio only and they bring security and leave it outside, which is hilarious because you know what that's about? What? Andrew's tall. Oh, that's funny. Uh and i'm like okay right so he's like listen you want me to he's like so larry is like listen we always tell both sides of the story sure you do and andrew's like okay cool i want to be compensated right and then all of a sudden it flashes across the screen that andrew won't be sharing his story but what did you feel about that i felt like pay the guy listen i felt like pay the guy something but i mean i think he's a little much thinking that he's gonna get paid the same thing a teen mom is gonna get paid sure but i mean aim for the shoot for the stars and then you know you can get a little bit in the middle yeah i mean they should give him something but it was like i don't know i think that it just shed bad light on him right but it did because that's how they twisted it yes Mm -hmm. they don't want andrew's side of the story to come out because they don't want people to not watch because they hate amber right too late i mean i hate amber but we watch because we podcast about her (laughs) <laughs> exactly mm-hmm. guys this has been a really great episode of teen mom trash talk noelle i know that you're thrilled to be doing this even though amber is there Ugh. and i'm thrilled that we could do this for you guys make sure you're following me at trixie Chuzini on instagram and twitter and make sure you're listening to my other podcast only in new york mm-hmm. you can find it wherever you listen to podcasts and you can go to tracycarnazzo.com for any of my upcoming projects. Noelle, where could we find you? You can find me at Noe underscore bear 810 on Instagram or at Noe girl on Twitter. Awesome. Yay. You ready? I'm ready. Bye. Bye. Bye.